Hi guys, you have already seen the construction part of this DC to DC voltage step up converter circuit or booster circuit in my previous video. So today in this video, I'm going to use this circuit to charge an old lithium ion laptop battery. Now as you can see that the voltage rating of this laptop battery indicated on its back is 11.1 volts and I will show you the current voltage across the terminals of this laptop battery with the help of a multimeter. So guys as you can see that the multimeter is indicating 8.47 volts DC. So here in this video I am going to use a mobile charger to charge this 11.1 volt laptop battery. So what I am going to do is I am going to step up the voltage of a mobile charger with the help of the DC booster circuit and then feed the output of the booster circuit to the laptop battery. So as I told you in my previous video that the output of a DC converter is AC which is then rectified with the help of a bridge rectifier into DC. So the positive terminal indicated on the rectifier will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal indicated on the rectifier will be connected to the negative terminal of the battery. The AC terminals of the step up converter will be connected to the AC terminals of the rectifier. And the positive and the negative terminals of the step up converter will be connected to the mobile charger. So there are too many wire connections here so you gotta be a bit careful with the positive and the negative polarity connections and uh, the voltage is not a uh, very high here so there are no risks of getting electric shocks at all so guys as you can see that as soon as i connect the negative terminal of the step up converter to the negative terminal of the mobile charger the voltage across the batteries uh, starts increasing as indicated by the multimeter like 8.68 6, 9 and uh, so on and if I will keep it connected for long then obviously the mobile charger is going to completely charge the battery in some time so now uh, the efficiency calculation of this circuit is what I'm going to do now now efficiency is indicated by the term meter and is equal to output power upon input power and in percentage it will be multiplied by 100 so we already have the voltage across the battery which is 8.87 volts so we have to multiply that voltage with the current that the circuit is feeding the battery So we are going to measure the current that is being fed to the battery with this multimeter yeah so for that we have to change the wires on the multimeter and then move the pointer towards the 10 ampere current mode and as you can see that the multimeter is indicating 0.02 amperes so we will multiply 8.87 volts with 0.02 amps that will give the total power that is being fed to the battery Now I'm going to measure the input power so for that first I will measure the current which is 0 0.7, 0 0.07 or 0 0.08 so I will take an average which is 0 0.075 and now I'm going to measure the voltage that is being fed to the circuit so for that I will have to change the terminals on the multimeter again to the voltage mode and the pointer towards the 20 volts DC mode. 
so as you can see that the voltage across the circuit is 5.21 volts and it has not been changed even after being loaded so I will multiply 5.21 with 0 0.075 oh so as you can see that here I have made a little mistake I have written 0 0.75 and it should be 0.075 so I'm going to make that correction so power is equal to V cross I where V stands for volt and I stands for current so for the output side it is 8.87 cross 0.02 and for the input side it is 5.20 cross 0.075 the total output power is 0.1774 and the total input power is 0. 3907 so efficiency meter is equal to output upon input which will be zero point one seven seven four divided by zero point three nine zero seven multiplied by hundred so it is forty five point four percent now as you can see that at present the efficiency is not that good it is 45.4 percent but we can really improve that efficiency at least to 75 percent or more so let me check how much voltage the circuit is actually producing when i connect it to a mobile charger and that will give me an idea if the efficiency that i measured is the best efficiency possible or it is overloaded or underloaded whoa as you can see that the voltage is really high there i thought it would be 12 volts and it is crossing 17 volts so it is understandable now why the efficiency that i calculated is not that very good because i overloaded the circuit i'm glad that efficiency is now going to be at least 80 to 90 percent so guys that would be all about the video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you